won the day. Hopefully, he won't be back. In Berlin, Knut is growing so fast that he's finally able to sleep on his own. <laughs> Thomas is happy to show Knut his new home, which means that Thomas can finally go back to his. <laughs> <laughs> Only polar bears allowed. Masha and Pasha make an important discovery. They spent last winter in this den with their mother, and they will need it again for the coming winter. But some housekeeping is in order. Brown bears hibernate and need a den in winter to survive. Winter is cold and food is scarce. If they remember to come back here when I bring the snow, they should be safe. Thomas plays with Canute every morning before the zoo opens. They've become true friends. Once playtime's over, Thomas and Canute have an important job to do. Never before have so many people visited the zoo. Humans rarely get a chance to see polar bears in the wild, and Canute reminds them how wonderful Arctic animals are.
Canute fever has spread across the world. And now he and Thomas are the hottest tickets in town. The seasons are changing, and far away from Canute and his fans, it's time to catch up with Maidu, Lhasa, and Lin. They finally reached the sea, and are now learning how to hunt for themselves, although there is much to be learned. Sometimes polar bears share their catch. Not this time, but Maidu can catch her own dinner. There are plenty of seals around here. Lhasa can smell his prey, but catching it is another story. It will take Maidu over a year to teach her cubs how to hunt. Until then, She's the boss. Time to travel with the sun to the forest. Pasha and Masha have picked up the scent of something new. Now all they need to do is figure out how to get it. Brother and sister seem to have different approaches. But all the hard work's been worth the effort. Canute's <laughs> lucky. He doesn't have many challenges getting his treats. It's good to know the chef. And Canute likes to nibble on only his favorite parts when Thomas isn't looking. Also, man, kannst du mal eben zu Ende essen? So unglaublich.
These two are really getting around. The people left this village a long time ago, but Pasha and Masha can't resist a new adventure. But their old nemesis is back. And he's first to raid the plum tree. The cubs are finally getting wise. This time, They'd rather wait their turn than battle the wolf again. There's enough here for everyone. The coast is clear. Too bad they forgot about the plums. Canute loves his family, but he's also growing up. I know things won't stay this way for long. But right now, I wish they would. Canute may be getting bigger, but he still likes nothing more than tumbling around with Thomas. <laughs> Like many working parents, Thomas does two jobs at the same time. But he always finds time for Canute. No longer a helpless baby, but a strong little bear with mischief on his mind. Good job Thomas is such a soft touch. <laughs> 